Hi friends, this is Rajeshwar Rai Party and welcome to my channel Rai Party. This is a continuation to our uh, this uh, one of this top 15 entries which is 12th relative period filtering and in the last video we have uh, discussed about a correct way of doing this uh, but now in the end of the video I have clearly told you why that that video is correct and we will be discussing a more correct video in the last video and if you if you haven't seen that video and please look at that video which is this which will be in the uh, top 15 LODs playlist now why why that was uh, like uh, that was correct but not accurate the difference is because of the day of year when we are comparing the sales set as per the days of the year when when there is a leap year like this then what problem we have is when when you are comparing with the date fine 23rd july is equal to 20 of 23rd to 22nd july 23rd july of last year is the same as 22nd july of this year but the scenario comes like when we talk about day of the year so from january 1st when there is a leap year there is a change in day of years so when a company wants to compare based on date date or day of the year is per that company's policies now we will be discussing if the company asks you to compare based on day of the year okay now this is my situation like uh, in in my data i want to get the max order date why do i want to get the max order date that is because if if in my data there is today might be my company's holiday and i am comparing my sales now i cannot compare today which is an holiday to the same day in the last year that will in, uh, fluctuate my sales a lot right so i have to compare with the data of current year's max date and that current year's max date i have to compare with the other dates so that is why now i will take a table scoped lod that is why now i'll take a table scoped lod now just see to get the max of order rate so what is table scope lod like if you have anything between these braces even if you use fixed or not whatever the aggregation that you use between these braces will be a table scope load right now here i want to use max of order date okay so here i'll name it as max order date fine now i say apply okay and on this i'll just do one thing i'll take a custom date just to drag uh, dragging then creating discrete them so those those all things i don't want to do so i'll just take month day year now this i'll drag in here now you can see what is the table scope lod now this is the table scope lod see for every row you are getting 22nd july only which is the max day of the order date right now why did we take this that is because we need to calculate day of the year now when we are calculating my day of the year i want to apply that across my uh, all the years so now let me calculate the day of the year for this date part of day of year comma order date sorry sorry let this is i want to know the date uh, day of the year of my max order date right now say uh, i'll just say this day of year max okay now let me say apply okay and then i will drag this in here i will make it a dimension okay then i'll make it discrete now if you see this is 2204 all throughout for every day because i have my max date as 22nd july the day of year is 204 now 
I want to compare the day of year of every day. Now just see. I will say day of year or the date. Okay. Now day date part of day of year comma or the date. Okay. Now I say apply. Okay, I'll just drag this in here. Uh, let it be dimension. And then I'll make it discrete. Now see, the we get date part of every day, same as like this. But if you come and see down here, which is uh, July, right? Just a moment. Now, this is July 22nd. See, now again, what we got is day of year is same across all. That This is no different, but I just wanted to show you. See, here. Now we have my, see, 204. For 22nd July is 204th day in 2020, whereas 23rd July is 204th day in all the previous three years, which is 17, 18, and 19. Now, I'll just say, I just want to show you one thing, which is uh, day of the year is less than or equal to day of the year max. Now, uh, I'll just say Boolean. Okay, now I said apply. Okay, now I'll just drag this volume just to show you what is this happening. Now, if you see all the dates, all the dates till 204th day are true, and from 205th day they are false. Now, why is this important? This is important because now here we are taking into consideration of the dates based on their day of year not date so that is why this uh, showing this is very important now you understand right see when i am comparing based on my day of year now i am comparing actually 22nd july of 2020 to 23rd july of the other three years okay now getting back to that now i just want to create a calculated field for our uh, uh, YTD, YTD is for current year and last year. Current year YTD max. Okay, just to show the difference. Now, if year of order date is equal to year of max order date and date i'll just drag this uh, we already calculated that field right uh, what is that it is a dimension day of year order date okay is less than or equal to day of year of max order date what is happening day of year max okay then sales else null i will not be showing the same error that uh, i showed in the last thing now okay this is not this day of max this is max order date okay now this is valid now i say apply but see here what when I'm saying day of max, just remember this even in the next uh, last year also, we'll be using the same day of max, and I'll, there I'll, 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 show, I'll tell you why. Now, let me say apply. Okay, now again, I can just take that duplicate also, but last year YTD max. Now, if year of order date is equal to year of max sorry max order date 
minus 1. As I told you, these are the numeric parts. Here we'll give you numeric parts. So when I say minus 1, it is 2019. And day of year, order date, I'm staking the same, is less than or equal to day of the year max. Now why is this same? You might be having your doubt, why is this same? Earlier why did we use uh, date add and uh, of date add of, uh, like let me open that. Uh, last year, why did we? Now this will go, okay, let me complete this. Uh, then sales, else, null, end. Okay, now I'll say apply. I don't mind this. Apply. Okay. Now let me open my YTD, the the previous one. Here we see we used date add of year of because when we are comparing by the date, we had to go to the previous year's date. But now in our uh, new calculation here, I am comparing it based on day of year. So day of year is the same all across. Right, the date might change, but the day of year is the same. So that is why this calc this field is same across through the both the calculations. I hope you understand that. Okay, now I'll just drag. Uh, where is this? Uh, my order date, month, day, year. Yeah, week wise. Now my 53 weeks, and I'll my can make it continuous. Now then I will drag my. Uh, wait, wait, wait. wait. Uh, yeah last year current year ytd max and then i will drag my last year ytd max okay then i'll just remove now uh, these nulls i told you right these nulls are of those weeks which are not yet added we are at the 30th week total there are 53 weeks so the 13 sorry the 23 nulls are because of that now let me make a dual access and okay just a moment I just want to, I forgot to do this. See, we, we want accumulation, right? So I just say running total of this and also running total of the last year. Okay, and for this, I will go for a dual access. Now I'll take, I'll make it synchronize access and then I will remove this header. So because the access is same on the both sides. Now I have to calculate year over year right now how do we calculate sum of uh, current year ytd max minus sum of last year ytd max okay i'll just put this in braces and then this will be divided by c we are talking about year over year growth so how much is the current year's growth compared to the last year so base will be last year so again sum of last year ytd max okay now i'll just say this y o y max now apply okay now i'll just uh, i just uh, here's this one thing yeah, now I'll just duplicate this. It's a bit slow, guys. Bear with me. I don't know what happened. Okay, doesn't matter. Now, uh, let me open another sheet. In this, I will again drag these weeks and make them discrete. So continuous and in this I want to drag my YOY where is my YOY max here yeah. this is what I want to drag and then I want to make this an area chart. okay then we'll take another dashboard and then we will drag our line charts uh, cumulative line charts here and then remove this like that and then I will drag my YOY now if you see then this null will be filtered don't worry that's not a big deal now see this is what we got 
but we are left with one more observation i will not be plotting them on a uh, dashboard but just see here now uh, see here here the last one observe the last one when i go to that uh, date based or date based yoy now you see that is a bit higher than compared with what we have here that is because there one day we are we are getting extra but here we are not getting that day extra because we are comparing based on the day of year so that is why there is a difference now this difference when it is when the company is looking at this yeah this difference matter a lot because the calculations change and again that different different depend on the company's policy so when the company asks to ask you to work based on date yeah the previous format and if you they ask you to work on day of year yeah this is current year format okay this is uh, for uh, today guys i hope you like the video and please do like subscribe and share if you like the video and also share it with your friends who are actually looking for a solution in uh, tableau and are stuck up in their project and if you have any queries or any if you want to may want me to make videos on another other topics please do comment in the youtube uh, below the video or anywhere in the channel i will try to address your uh, concerns as my as soon as possible thank you guys thanks a lot